Mr. Mishra, Mr. Sarkar, uh, all my friends from MSME sector. I'm extremely delighted to be here. And I'm particularly delighted that uh, the focus today has been through the day on the MSME sector and that this has been organized by the Foundation for MSME in collaboration with GIZ, UNIT, and many other organizations. India is growing at about 7.5% and in this growth, the MSME sector has been a very vibrant and a very critical sector. It's played a very, very dynamic role over the last five to six decades and it's played a very crucial role in providing very large employment opportunities at compar comparatively lower capital cost than large industries. Secondly, I think uh, India is essentially an MSME nation. It's an MSME nation because industrialization of rural and backward areas, regional imbalances, equitable distribution of national income and wealth has all happened because of MSME sector in India. These are all, we must understand this. This has all happened because of MSME sector, not because of large enterprises. And I think it's very important to understand that why MSME plays such a key role. It plays a key role because, you know, if you have 63 million units providing opportunities, employment opportunities in a nation where employment is the most critical sector, most critical issue today. I mean, governments will be, uh, for governments, is growth with equity and growth with jobs, and therefore, with sector which provides op job opportunities to about 80 million persons, astonishing. Uh, a sector which contributes about 8% of GDP, 33% of manufacturing sector gross value output, uh, almost 40 percent plus of exports from the country and therefore uh, it is it is huge it is massive but my view is that for msme sector to grow and prosper in the long run it's very important that we play a very key role in integrating it with global value chains and without that it will be very difficult to expand the boundaries of indian MS msmes we must understand that domestic markets have limits, and most of you produce for domestic markets. MSMEs must have the passion to penetrate global markets. Till you don't penetrate global markets, it will be very difficult. And actually, while Indian markets give you some returns, the real big, big returns are abroad. And no country in the world has, ex has actually made it big without exporting in a big way. So if you look at the story of Japan, if you look at Korea, if you look at China, the MSME sectors actually standardized to global standards and therefore they penetrated global markets. And if you have to integrate with global value chains, it's very, it's very important that we produce to excellence, we do we lay a lot of em emphasis on competitiveness, and my belief is that MSMEs, MSMEs, the two critical things. One is it must produce to economies of scale, and secondly, it must have good access of finance. Without that, it will be very difficult. Secondly, I think there's a huge benefit of adopting digital technologies. And there's one study which has shown that MSMEs which have adopted digital technology, and this is an age of artificial intelligence and robots and so on. So those which have adopted Industrial Revolution 4.0, those MSMEs have actually grown profit, profit, profit up to two times faster than the offline SME, SMEs. And 51% of digitally enabled SMEs sell beyond city boundaries as compared to just 29% of offline SMEs. And digitally, those MSMEs which have become digitally advanced 
employ up to five times more people than the offline SMEs. So this is critical. Uh, I think it's important that you embrace technology, move forward, because a lot of simplification has recently been done by government. Uh, all schemes of MSMEs are now being disbursed through DBT. There's GST as a specific window for MSME. There's an MSME Samadhan portal. There's an MSME Sambandh portal. Uh, there's huge focus has been laid by uh, in implementing technology center systems program. Uh, we're implementing it at an estimated cost of 2,200 crores. Uh, 15 new technology centers are being set up and we are upgrading the existing technology centers. And therefore, you know, as someone rightly said, MSME is a nursery for entrepreneurship and a school of innovation. Uh, without MSMEs, we also can't have financial inclusion. And therefore, my personal view for a long time has been that we need to support MSMEs to transform them as really smart enterprises of the future. Because close to about uh, one belief, my belief has been that it's very important to provide better credit access to MSMEs because close to 90% of MSMEs are dependent on informal sources. 90% are dependent on informal sources. And uh, there's still a huge unmet demand for credit for MSMEs. Uh, and secondly, I think there's a huge need for manufacturing technology upgradation. And I was telling uh, uh, the DC MSME that we had initiated a program on uh, zero effect, zero defect, Z, which was driven by Quality Council of India, where you were all to upgrade to that global standard. Without upgrading to global standard, you will never be able to make it big. And I think that Z program needs to be implemented with great vigor and great energy. And uh, second, thirdly, I think there's a need to uh, greatly embrace automation uh, because the impact of smart manufacturing, artificial intelligence, 3D printing will be huge because it gives massive fillip to productivity and your, your productivity levels will rise very sharply. Uh, there's already been a lot of focus on ease of doing business that must have been spoken at length, so I'm not going to lay stress on this. But this bit about social enterprises, let me tell you that in a country like India, uh, only thing you need to focus on is that whatever manufacturing you do, within your boundaries, you do it in a sustainable manner. You do it in a sustainable manner because every dimension of India that you touch, you are a social enterprise in some manner or the other. You know, number of startups I come across, it's not merely that they are in e-commerce, you have startups which are doing, uh, there's Ather Energy which is doing uh, electric uh, scooter, smart scooter, that's a social enterprise because it's impacting climate change. There's a girl who's uh, teaching, uh, started with, Branchu uh, Bandari who started teaching uh, Japanese and Mandarin ended up teaching English. It's taught 9 million Indians how to speak English. 9 million Indians in one year how to speak English. It's a social enterprise. There's another girl who's using artificial intelligence to track students going up and down in their subject. Artificial intelligence, so if she knows how many students have remained behind in maths, how many in physics, how many in history, and provides extra tuition, that's a social enterprise. Every area of India, education, health, nutrition, uh, is actually a social enterprise. So my view is that whatever you touch the life of Indians in any manner, you are impacting the lives of Indian citizens, it's a social enterprise. Uh, any aspect of new technology, you will have a huge impact on the way Indians will live and the way urbanization will take place. And all these are social enterprises to my mind. And the only focus for you is that while you continue to maximize your profit, 
you, you are a business enterprise first and foremost. Don't lose the essence of business enterprise, but you must produce whatever you do in a highly sustainable manner so that you don't impact environment around you. I would only say that you embrace technology and I would only suggest to you that you adopt digitization which will enhance your productivity and push your production and enable you to penetrate global markets. But this, to my mind, without your growth, without MSME's growth, there cannot be a growth of India. Without your progress, there cannot be job creation. And the biggest challenge India is confronted with is growth with jobs. And therefore, MSMEs will be right at the heart of India's growth story and the story of growth with jobs always. And therefore, this huge thrust and huge focus on the MSMEs. So it's a great pleasure being with all of you. I wish you all all the best and a great future. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, sir, for those encouraging words.